Aloha Kako, men of Hawaii. I'm Jay Goodman, fourth degree knight and round table coordinator for the Knights of Columbus. Are you ready? Well, you better get ready because in seven days, we will begin the very first Into the Breach men's group right here in beautiful Hawaii. You don't have to be a knight to be a part of it either. If you want to be, please let me know. Now, what is Into the Breach? It's an exhortation written by Bishop Olmsted of the Phoenix Diocese. And it's this book right here. I'm sure you've seen it in churches, in that cubicle up front where you can buy books. This is free though. In it, Bishop Olmsted gives a clarion call, a clear charge to us men to stand in the breach for our churches and for our families. Because honestly, the battle is wounding our children and our, and our families and distorting the dignity of both women and men. There is a battle raging around us men. It's often hidden in the form of personal sin meant to weigh us down with shame and regret, addictions to alcohol, porn, drugs, selfishness, pride, a feminization. Men are not being the best husbands we can be, the best fathers we can be, and we're not truly being Catholic masculine men. Our families need us. So because it's a battle for heaven and hell, there's just one question. Will you fight for your family or will you let them be taken by Satan in various forms and degrees? God absolutely has a great plan for our lives, but remember, so does Satan. He came to steal, kill, and destroy, and he does this mainly by isolation, isolating us from others. He can pile on all those sins and struggles. And as you'll learn in the videos coming up, we need each other. We really do. We can't do this alone. We were never meant to. Jesus, our Savior, even knew that when he formed quite literally the very first band of brothers. Proverbs 27 even says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. So on January 22nd at 6.30 p.m. on Zoom, we will have our first end of the breach session. We will talk about the first breach in the wall of our lives, which is masculinity, and how to truly be a Catholic masculine man, which is perfect. Each time we meet, there's a 10 to 14 minute video that was produced solely by the Knights of Columbus. And then we go over some questions meant to start dialogue and to build up and courage and strengthen each other so we can be better men, husbands, and fathers. This is the largest production the Knights of Columbus has ever done. Having such amazing people out there who get to be a part of these videos. People like Dr. Scott Hahn, Curtis Martin, uh, Father Mike Schmitz, Sister Maris Stella, Dr. Paul Thigpen, and so many more. All for you, for free. This study guide, now I had mine made for me, but you can print it off at home, you can use the digital download and use a notebook and pen. The original exhortation and the videos, the work and the heart put into this all for you. All you have to do is show up. Seven days to go, man. Remember, save the date, January 22nd, 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. After January, you'll see below, it'll give, give the schedule of every month when we meet. Also, every week you can look forward to an encouraging two to three minute quick video from me with power packed uh, breach bricks, if you will, meant to encourage you and hopefully help you have an encouraging week. Occasionally, I'll be sending out many more things. Now, please enjoy this Into the Breach trailer video. Pray for me because I'm praying for you. Also, see the links below this video to download everything you need for your arsenal and I'll see you all very soon. God bless all of you. There is a serious man crisis. One in three Catholic men that have been baptized have left the faith. If you're a thinking person, you have asked yourself that question, why am I here? To know him, to love him, to serve him. Not only does God have a plan for your life, so does Satan. I remember I went to confession one time and the priest just looked at me and he said, the devil wants to destroy your family, but he has to come through you to get him. If I'm a man, I'm called to pass on the faith. If I'm a man, I'm called to live the faith. So I need to know my faith. Every man needs to walk into that breach and begin to fight that battle, which means you've got to know the power of the Eucharist, the power of prayer. My rosary beads are the key, and I look at life as spiritual warfare. They're beads for the battle. A lot of guys are like, I'd be willing to die for that, but they're not willing to live for it. And guess what? If you're not willing to live for it, you probably won't have what it takes to die for it. Talk isn't cheap, talk is free. Talk is nothing. I care about you, I love you, right? But then if I'm taking care of myself first and everybody else second, it doesn't matter. If you're not willing to fight for the truth, what will you fight for? And the answer is oftentimes nothing. The need in the world is of men among men who can rise higher, who can see further, who can strive more nobly than others. They need not be many, they never were many, but though the few, they will rise and bring with them the whole of humanity.